In this episode, I'm going to be giving some tips on hiring virtual assistants. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for today's episode of Interview Connections TV. I am your host, Jessica Rhodes, and today is my, this is my first video of 2015, and I was trying to think of what I wanted to, to talk about with you today, because the past couple episodes I gave some very, uh, basically the past two episodes are a blueprint on how to get booked as a guest expert. I talked about um, finding the right shows, pitching yourself as a guest. So check those out at interviewconnections.tv if you didn't watch those videos already. As we go into 2015, I know a lot of people are talking about their resolutions and their goals for their business. And a common theme that I see, people want to really grow their business, leverage, scale, hire virtual assistants, and really take things to the next level. In today's episode, I want to be giving you some tips on hiring virtual assistants because if you want to grow your business and take things to the next level, you cannot be doing everything yourself. Between proofreaders and graphic designers and my guest booking team, I have over 10 people um, that I pay every month that help me run my business. So I've learned a thing or two about hiring the right people, how to find the right people, how to manage a virtual team. So I wanted to share those tips with you today. Number one, I'm sure you've heard this before, but hire slow and fire fast. Now, a lot of people when they say, I want to hire a virtual assistant, I want to find a virtual assistant, and they just want to find someone and hire them right away. You really need to take your time and find the right person for you. So if you think you're gonna need someone in a couple months, start looking now. Put the word out, ask for referrals. Those are the, the best way to find a virtual assistant, someone to help you, is somebody that can be referred by a trusted um, peer. So ask around, ask your personal network, um, post that you're looking for someone on social media. Um, I've used Elance probably the most, um, but a lot of my virtual assistants, my guest booking team, they're all from referrals. Uh, the newest member of our team, Lauren, is somebody that I worked with actually, um, gosh, six or seven years ago at my old job, and we reconnected on Facebook. She's running her own business, doing contract work, so she joined our team, and it's been a really, really good fit. So definitely just hire slow, fire fast, and, and what I mean by fire fast is I let every Everyone know when they come on board um, on my team that listen I'm really excited I think this is gonna be a great fit but you know if it doesn't work out um, if you're not showing results in the first couple weeks we're gonna move on and so everyone knows that if it's not working out we're gonna cut ties fast rather than have things not go well for a really long time. Number two, spend as much time as possible on training. Now with my with interview connections, I have a guest booking team. Um, I have virtual assistants that you know work with me and my clients and find and book great guests for our clients' podcasts. It takes a lot of training. I need to, you know, let them know how to find guests, what are the different ways that I've learned that work. So before any of my virtual assistants um, work with a client, before they find any guests, before they book any guests, they are spending a minimum of two weeks just learning how to do it. Reading through my ebook, watching all my videos, listening to my podcast, listening to all of our clients' podcasts. That's one of the things I had Lauren do was go through all of our clients' podcasts and just listen to them so she could learn about everyone's show. That, by, by doing all of that training up front, she's been able to hit the ground running as she started doing work. So I know that when you hire a virtual assistant, you wanna have them just start doing work right away, but take your time and make sure that you train them well because I've made the mistake in hiring somebody getting them to work right away and then it didn't work out because they weren't trained properly and we had to, um, you know, we had to let them go. So definitely just make sure that you are spending a lot of time training. And number three, just make sure that your team knows how much you um, are thankful for them. I mean, running a business takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of, you know, people 
running different parts of the business, um, help, you know, working with your clients, getting everything done. And I think that's one of the biggest complaints people have in their job is they don't feel appreciated. So just make sure your team knows how much you appreciate them. If they feel appreciated, if they're, you know, feel like you really are thankful to have them on your team, they're going to feel they're going to want to do the work more. So again, hire slow, fire fast. Number two, spend a lot of time on training, as much time as you can. And number three, make sure your team knows how much you are thankful to have them on your team. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it, like it, comment below, let me know what you think. Um, if you are looking for support and a virtual assistant to help you with your podcast, definitely check us out at interviewconnections.com. The great thing about working with Interview Connections in terms of booking your guests and um, coordinating scheduling interviews is you don't have to train us. We've already done that work. We know how to just jump in, get started right away. So interviewconnections.com, you can learn all about our service services there and interviewconnections.com slash guest is where you can learn all about how we can get you booked and um, thank you so much for watching this I hope you're off to a great start to 2015 and just one more thing don't forget to check out my podcast at roads to success podcast.com or rts podcast.com thanks so much have a wonderful productive week do lots of interviews and I'll talk to you next Tuesday